Hey guys, Jason Nedved here with Nedved Precision Shooting. We're going to be going over this $600 MDT Skypod. So, this here, a lot of people ask, is it worth it? Well, I've had that one right there, it's a Gen 1. I've had that for five to six years now. I've been using the same one at every match for five, six years, and I'm shooting every weekend almost, so. Tolerances are still good, haven't had any issues, I've never had to send it in, nothing, it's running great. So, five years for one investment, that's, that's pretty good. And like I say, buy once, cry once. So I've been getting a lot of questions of what you get for the $600. Well, you get a BTC head that goes to ARCA or PIC, so you can use it on your older rifles that I have with PIC, PIC tinny rail on the front, or you can use it on your chassis here that have the ARCA. Uh, this is the really right stuff head, so it's a little bit different. Uh, I upgraded to that, but you still get the options of having both on the one head. So that's great. And then it has a little twist knob to get it tight on your rails. They also come with a locking head, so you can lock it into one position so you can't uh, turn, you can't pan left and right. Uh, so that is nice if you need it for that. But what I like it for is how low and how high I can get really quickly. So this here is set on the middle pins. These pins here will move this in and out. So you can see we can get really narrow like that there, or we can hit those pins and go really wide out, okay? Also, where I like mine is I put mine the furthest out here and I put this left one in the middle like that there. This head can tilt all the way around. So you can have all the tilt you need. So if you are running this one all the way out, this one all the way in, you can get your gun still level, okay? So the way I like to run it is I run this one out and you can see it on that rifle there is the right one is all the way out. This one's in the middle, okay? So with this one in the middle, I can either go when I'm shooting a stage, if I wasn't paying attention to the shooter before me running the Skypod, and I didn't set my bipod correctly, I can quickly just grab my rifle, and I'll show you here. <laughs> so if you look at the trigger cam footage here, you can see, hey, I'm on this 100 yard target, okay? Boom, I move over here to 275. I gotta really bury the bag, get in there, and I can't quite reach it. I grab it with my left hand, I reach up, put that leg in, and now I have that extra height, I get resettled on my bag, level out my gun, I'm on that target, okay? But then I need to come over here to my 100 yard. Well, now I'm floating in no man's land. I can just grab it with my right hand, go to that middle click, level out the rifle, get settled in the bag, right there we are, okay? So that's why I leave this one all the way out, and then this one in that middle position when I approach a stage, in case I uh, approached it wrong or wasn't ready, I can quickly on the fly get higher or I can go down and get lower. So that's why I leave it where that's at. Other things with this, having those pins, having the tilt uh, wherever you need it, the rotation of the head. You can flip this around to have this up front. You can just rotate this head all the way around. No big deal, absolutely love that. And then with the legs, super easy. If you need more height for some reason or anything like that, if you're out hunting, um, have a steep hill or anything, all you do is grab it, pull it out. That's all there is to it, okay? Then to get it back in, you just push the button, go back in, super easy. This here, I just have on there uh, so I can quickly adjust the tilt here. So if I just tighten this up, just crank it down, it gets a lot tighter, and then obviously with the weight of the rifle on there, I have it real tight because I didn't want it just moving around. So I just loosen this baby up and you can tilt wherever you need to go. But I never really mess with that, I just have it tight and then the weight of the rifle, I can manipulate it and get it level. So $600 MDT bipod, is it worth it? Like I said, I've had that one for five, six years now, never had any issues, absolutely love it. Use it at every match, every weekend that I'm shooting never had any issues. I don't think it's too much of a bipod. I don't think it's too little of a bipod. It's great. 
If you have any questions, let us know. You can order these on our website at nedvedprecisionshooting.com. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments or send us a message. Thanks, guys.